This is about the intention aspect of mindfulness. Having a clear direction and intention is primary in mindfulness. And how you actually make those intentions is important. It's a skill in its own right. So there's a general principle that's based on good science that uh, of the way that the brain works, which is that when you give directions or intentions to yourself to do something, do it in a direct and positive way so the mind gets it immediately. So the opposite of that is giving directions which are convoluted or indirect and difficult for the mind to understand without thinking about it. So an example of the unhelpful way of giving an intention, say in the, the meditation on the breath, is don't get distracted or don't let your mind wander. So it's not direct. It doesn't say notice when your mind wanders, let go of that and come back, which is very direct and very clear. And the mind can get that. Oh, so it's got three things to do, to notice, to let go and to come back. Now you can build on those three intentions. You can say, well, come back with gentle determination, perseverance, uh, for example, or uh, you can have the intention to notice quickly and promptly when your mind has wandered. Uh, so, but it's still in this direct, immediate way of giving uh, yourself directions. So this can be used in different aspects of mindfulness. So you're going to say, for example, stay present while you walk down the street. You're going to um, be aware of the walking, the street, what's happening around you, the birds singing and so on. So the intentionality is layered. So you're going to come into a sense of yourself on the walking. It's good, that's quite clear, very direct. Stay with that. It's also a very clear, direct intention. Uh, you're going to broaden your awareness to take in your environment. So broaden is a clear uh, and very direct intention. And you're going to just take in what's happening. Again, very direct. And then stay with this. <laughs> very direct, very clear. So in this way, your mind gets used to giving you, or you get used to giving your mind, uh, clear directions in a very direct way. Um, and letting go of any habit, noticing and letting go of any habit to do it more indirectly. So anticipate, if this happens, don't do that, or avoid that, or stop doing that. Work at developing the skill and the ability and the, the positive way of, of approaching your mindfulness in a direct way. So in that way you just get used to the way that you give yourself intentions. So there's a uh, uh, another aspect of this which is very interesting and very useful. Now in the meditations when you do your awareness of the breath say in the morning when you actually drop in the intention to be aware of the breath and experience the breath explore ways of doing it more at the back of your mind so rather than at the front of your mind the breath, <laughs> more at drop, it's like dropping a pebble into the mind or even into the body. The breath, come into the breath. So you're dropping in the suggestion, subtly, but it's clear. 
So you get used to dropping in clear intentions and then you just start to do that. You might have the thought, the body, or a part of the body, the shoulders, or the face. Let's say the face, nice good example in a way. So you say in your back of your mind, lightly, uh, the face. And as you actually bring that phrase to mind, you come into the experience of the face. And then as you feel the face, you've got the, the phrase, the face, or stay here. So the thinking is anchoring you in the actual direction that you want to go. So it's an actually a positive alternative to going away and thinking about something else. Your mind is involved. It's key. It knows what it's going to do and it's keeping you focused and helping you stay with your intention. So, very generally, d directions like this uh, is a skill that you can develop. I'll give you one more example. You might notice that as you're aware of your body or your breath or inner communication in ordinary everyday life, that your awareness feels a bit distant from what you're paying attention to, the, the body or the breath or the person that you're communicating with. So you, you notice that, oh, I'm a bit distant, and that's a thought about what's happening. So it's not about something else. So it's useful thought. So you then give yourself a, a clear direction to come closer, to engage in what you're doing. So that can be, again, like a dropping in type word or thought, closer, engage, focus. So it's very much to do with what you're doing and what's happening. So in that way, you actually start to get a sense of what it's like to develop the intention and to act on that intention to come closer into what's happening and to experience what's happening more vividly and in a more engaged way.